James Brigo needs to be fired now. And this is quite apparent to, I think, just about everyone. I know there's a lot of people who are high on LaMelo Ball. They're just like, why isn't this dude playing? I'm not high on LaMelo Ball. I'm clarifying that right now. I don't think that LaMelo Ball should be starting, but there is one key player on the scene that's being entirely mismanaged. And James Borrego is quite clearly at the head of the saw. This is quite clearly the issue with this team. James Borrego needs to be fired, and he needs to be fired now. This is kind of ridiculous at this point. Because I see a guy in Miles Bridges, who last season played 30-31 minutes a game, was extremely successful. That guy played it very well. I don't like Miles Bridges. I'll let you know that right now. But I can tell you right now that he should not be playing 24 minutes a game this season. Considering how well he's played in the past, considering he's been a player who's improved every year, this guy should not be playing 24 minutes a game. Another guy who's playing 24 minutes per game, LaMelo Ball. The media loves LaMelo Ball. Everyone wants to see LaMelo Ball play. He's playing 24 minutes per game. But what about in the basketball sense? You're starting a guy in Devontae Graham, who's, although we know he's a very talented player, and we know he's a very good player, and he's played well in the past. He had an amazing season last season. And he probably will go back to those averages. He, that wasn't a one-off season. He is going to be very good again. He has not played well to start the season. He leads... He's second in your team in minutes per game, in 32 minutes per game. But he's averaging 10 points a game on 20-something percent from the field. Actually, I'm not 100% sure right there. Let's pull up the stats. He's shooting 25% from the field, 30% from three. And I'll prop this a little bit. And there is no reason Devontae Graham should be starting and playing 32 minutes per game over a guy in LaMelo Ball, who's playing 24 minutes per game, averaging 12, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, and only 2 turnovers, which is much less than we expected them to have, and he's shooting 41% from the field, which is better than Devontae Graham, and 36% from 3, which is currently better than Devontae Graham. And I, it doesn't take... It, it takes a brain to realize that he should very clearly be playing if Devontae Graham is cold. And that's something that I heard, I think it was KOT4Q, he touched on in his most recent video, I believe. That, yeah, LaMelo Will should be playing when Devontae Graham isn't making shots because Devontae Graham is on the court to be a shot maker. He is a very good playmaker, though. Six assists, one turnover. But if you're leaving him open... Might as well just have a guy on the court who's actually hitting his threes at a considerably good clip, considering considering that we didn't think he was going to be shooting like this to start the season, to start his career, especially after not having like it's having a very very short off season, you know, for a two week off season before they started preseason, he's shooting like this. Devonte Graham had ten months, uh, eleven months even. 10 months, 11 months, you get the point. And he's shooting like this. That's telling me that LaMelo Ball, maybe he shouldn't be starting, but he should be playing more, at least more than 24 minutes per game. Next issue. Bismack Biombo should not be starting on any roster in the NBA, regardless of who else is on their roster. He should not be starting. That's the reality of the situation. This guy is terrible, and I might as well open up his stats this season. He's averaging 8, 7, and 2.6 assists, 1.3 turnovers. If you're trying to argue that he's starting because he's a quote-unquote big, he's 6'8". PJ Washington is 6'7". Miles Bridge is a 6'6". Gordon Hayward is 6'7". Although these guys aren't taller players, they're at least better players than Bismack Biombo, and I don't care that Hornets, oh no, they're not starting a traditional center. Who cares? It's the Hornets. Your team is probably not going to make the playoffs anyways. And 
losing Cody Zeller really hurts your team because, yeah, I mean, he is a very good starter. It's something that's he's very underrated. Bismack Biombo should not be starting in the NBA. I don't care what lineup you have to run. Get him off the court. <laughs> that's just the reality of the situation. If you want a true big, play Vernon Carey or play Nick Richards. I don't even like Nick Richards, but I know Nick Richards is already a better NBA player than Bismack Biombo. Just he just doesn't know the system. He hasn't played with the team for long enough. I, I I really don't like Nick Richards at all, and I can admit that, you know? And yeah, I mean Bismack Biombo, we know he's been not very good for pretty much his entire career. Let's look at some stuff. Let's look at on off. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I just had to click all these. <laughs> You get to the point, look at that. Minus 18.5 on off this season. That's 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 enough to show that this guy should not be starting. If your lineup is considerably worse with you on the court, then there's no reason you should be starting in the NBA. And that's just the reality of the situation. Let's look at Miles Bridges. And considering he's been on two bat he's been on two very terrible Hornets teams up until this season. This season, he's plus 8.5. He should be the starter. I'm telling you right now, we know that they've tried P.J. Washington at the 5. And I'm pretty sure they've run lineups with P.J. Washington at the 5. Why isn't that the starting lineup? Why is a 6'8 center, who's not particularly as good as any of the other players on the court, still starting at the 5? That's pretty ridiculous. Here's another meltdown. Whose stats are these? One point, he went from 10 points per game to one a game. This guy's playing 21 minutes a game. He's only played one game. Who is this? It's Malik Monk. Malik Monk's played one game this season and I'm pretty sure it was in garbage time too. He's absolutely not played this season. And what what are the circumstances here? Because that that's completely unreal. Why isn't he playing? Well, he did actually test positive for that one thing, and he did not get to join the team until I think preseason started. So I guess he's behind on the two weeks of training. But if we consider the fact that he's been on the team for the last three years with the same head coach, then why does it matter that he missed two weeks of training? Especially if he kept up with his conditioning and was still practicing. As, as long as he's quarantined, it, he's he's not he's not any worse. And they have been playing pretty much only eight guys. Martin, Martin, Ball, Bridges, Washington, Biamba, Rogier, Graham, and Hayward. Actually that might be eight. Now that or that might be nine now that I'm saying it, but yeah, they pretty much played nine guys this entire season. And Cody Martin, defensive specialist, is playing less than his brother Caleb Martin, who is shooting 28.5% from three as a three-point specialist. Okay. isn't Cody Martin's a really good gem, but you're playing him some of the least out of your entire rotation. Actually, the least amount of minutes in your rotation. Actually, look at this. Jaden McDaniels played seven games. Or sorry, Jalen McDaniels. But not Malik Monk. Not Malik Monk, a guy that we know can score the ball. He isn't some terrible player who should be on the end of the bench. A guy that we know can be a successful NBA player. He's not playing minutes. That's it. I don't know. Is there more to that circumstance? I really wouldn't know. But Malik Monk should be playing. Miles Bridges should be playing. Bismack Biombo should be benched. Lamella Ball should be getting some more minutes over Devontae Graham. And James Brago gotta be fired. You know? Because a lot of this it no, all of this is blamed on the coach. What are we saying? This is all the coach's fault. And you're only winning games because of Gordon Hayward. If Gordon Hayward, if you take Gordon Hayward away from this team, which might I add, he's gotten hurt a lot, and he has been taken away from teams a lot. This team is nowhere close to being this good. And we might as well open up his stats as well. What is his on-off? 
because on off okay minus 2.8 not as ridiculous as i thought it would be but yeah i mean dude's averaging 22 6 and 4 had he's pretty much turned into you a lot of your offense and terry rogier has also been a lot of offense too but take him away this team hasn't won a game and that's gonna and it, gordon hayward hasn't been successful because of the coaching now gordon hayward has been successful because he's gordon hayward which tells me that Borrego needs to be fired. Please fire James Borrego. I mean, look at his career too. 10 and 20 is in, I guess, an interim head coach with the, the Magic. 39 and 43 with, I believe, Kemba Walker. 23 and 42 last season and 3 and 5 to start this season. He needs to be fired because it's pretty clear that this team is not being managed correctly, and it comes down to the coach. There's no other explanation. 27th best offense in the league for a team that should be very, very good offensively considering which pieces they have. Terry Rozier, Devontae Graham, Gordon Hayward, PJ Washington, LaMelo Ball. All very good offensive players. Yeah, I still see them as... 27th in offensive rating. I mean, I am impressed by 13th defensive rating, but that that's the only positive, if we're being honest. And that's got that's got me thinking that the head coach must be fired, and they gotta do it soon. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Maybe leave a like. Maybe leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.